What's up everybody and welcome to Spring Hill, Florida. Looks like we had a little accident here. Welcome to Spring Hill, Florida. Where the overdose death rate is two times higher than the state average of Florida, which is already bad enough. The first thing that I find when I enter this trail is this. Now, huffing is what this is called. Um, horrendous stuff. It's popular in prisons and people on the streets still do it. Clearly, this is actual, literally poison. All over Spring Hill, Florida are trails and on these trails are homeless camps where people live in the woods, marginalized from society. On the intersection of Highway 50 and US 19, in Spring Hill, Florida, and already we can see signs of homelessness and we can smell that there's a homeless camp behind us. So let's go in there and see what we'll find. I'm gonna, let's go. This is the first camp that we run into here. Looks like there's nobody here at the moment, but you can see, um, Pretty much just a nice little camp here. this particular camp actually looks pretty clean very orderly um doesn't look bad at all it looks like they have garbage bags and they are taking their garbage with them somewhere else we're not going to go into the actual area that they're dwelling in we're just going to stay on the outskirts but you can see this is actually a pretty nicely set up camp here keep moving to these woods now somewhere in this county it's actually beautiful landscaping here. Uh, it's not a bad looking place at all. It's beautiful out here in the, um, just beautiful. Coming through, coming through, coming through. There's a cooler here with drinks. There's a fairly elaborate little camp right here. Coming through, coming through. Looks like a, kind of like a miniature city out here. I can hear people up ahead. So there's people up ahead on this trail. Coming through, coming through. I guess there's people up ahead. You can hear them talking over here. We'll see what we can find. Let's see. This is super dangerous, y'all. What's up, y'all? Good, man. Does this trail lead anything anywhere back there or no? No. It's just dead end? Dead end right here. Alright, y'all. Y'all have a good day, man. Alright. Right, guys so we're about to enter another trail looks like they've planted a sort of bamboo all over the front to keep it from being yeah, seen so by the spot road. that we're going into it's super dangerous it could even be booby trapped along the trail you can see how they've planted this sort of uh it's sort of like a bamboo to keep uh the visibility low from the entrance and to ensure that the trail is kind of hidden so there's a den here for a protected gopher tortoise all right guys so there's a shoe here that means that there's somebody inside this trail that is a universal code for people ahead this could quite possibly be a makeshift bathroom makeshift bathroom but i'm walking through here and so far i've seen very little this is definitely a pretty good walk all right guys so here's a telltale sign that we have a homeless camp here you can see people have been burning their garbage. So they are trying to keep the garbage to a minimal at this camp by burning it. Now, a lot of artifacts here are endemic to homeless camps. Suitcases, signs that people at some point had a home, had a place to live, and things just went the wrong way. The 
this is also prime black bear territory this area has a lot of black bears you can see there's footprints here um they all look fresh and human so there are people living back here but we know that because we saw the shoe earlier people try to keep these camps clean by burning the garbage and it's a never-ending task for the people that live here one of the most surprising things about this particular homeless camp is the amount of suitcases that are here which would suggest new arrivals this is an odd thing because i haven't seen it in other homeless camps i mean occasionally you see a suitcase here or there but the amount of suitcases here is just kind of gives you an indication of how many people have ended up here over the years. I don't know why there's always so many kids toys in these homeless camps, but I have a theory that these were possibly sentimental artifacts to people that they just kept with them when they threw everything in a suitcase and left. I'm not really sure, but I do find it disturbing that at all these homeless camps, you find so many artifacts like this. It's, it's really crazy. It's interesting that this is an aluminum coil and you would think that an aluminum coil, somebody would scrap that and get paid for it. But here it is sitting on the floor in the middle of a homeless camp. And that is because the state of Florida actually made it illegal to sell these coils at scrap yards because homeless people were breaking into houses and stealing them. Again, the amount of spray paint cans out here is overwhelming. And there's no doubt that these are cans that people have been stealing from adjacent properties and using them for huffing. This camp here is perhaps long abandoned. And these palm trees are the reason there's so many black bears here, because they eat the berries off them. I think so far what makes this homeless camp so interesting is just the odd conglomeration of strange items that are out here. This particular spot is today abandoned and the reason these are like islands is because if you look around us, you can tell that in the summer this would flood and leave this camp as an island in the middle. You can tell that sometime in the past, this was a complete city out here. But today, just strange artifacts that have survived time are left. This particular site was possibly quite permanent as there are stuff like this here. This looks like somebody uh, cut up maybe a washing machine to turn it into a tank to cook or grill or make bonfires at night. So while this site is abandoned today, it definitely is an interesting site. And like with many of these homeless sites in Florida, it certainly doesn't seem like living here would be bad, at least from a scenic aspect. A lot of aluminum and copper and brass out here. You'd think they would scrap that stuff and get some money for it. You can see where at some point the flames reach the trees perhaps almost causing a fire here. A lot of walkers and artifacts of somebody who's injured. And again, this is aluminum. You can actually sell this at a scrapyard. Perhaps the reason there's so many toys here is because they're made out of plastic and they can burn for a long time. And perhaps that helps with bonfires. Poor semi-truck. It's seen better days. Well, if I'm not mistaken, this is actually silver. This is actually 925 silver. Crazy. Now, this little guy had his face burned off. It's some type of kid's toy. This one over here, too. They're robbing all these uh, liquor stores. Isn't that crazy?
não foi. The famous pink dinosaur of Spring Hill, Florida. Built in 1959, there's a local artist who built these things. There's this one here, and there's several more, actually. I've seen one of these in a property deep in the woods around Brooksville, Florida. Find yourself in rural Brooksville, Florida, you'll run into an unfinished dinosaur in front of a property off a country road. Again, I can't remember the exact spot because it's been so many years since I've seen it. But somewhere around here, there's another one of these things that's unfinished. Florida's a weird place. That dinosaur down there. Car in a ditch over here. I have no idea there's still a lot of advertising stuff out in public. So allegedly this is just a car in a ditch, but I'm gonna guess by the amount of uh, investigative work going in that there might be a there might be more to this story than just a car in a ditch. You'll see a lot of these bicycle trailers here in this area. A lot of the people that are homeless just move around from place to place, so they'll ride a setup like this. West 19 used to be a driving little highway, busy in its day, but today. Just a sad area. All these businesses looking pretty sad. I guess these are teenagers. Reminiscent about Kmart or what? Walking towards the cops with what looks like a machete. That's not gonna go pretty. So he's got like a stick or something. The iconic dinosaur of US 19. Welcome to Spring Hill, Florida. The place that people thought was a dream to move to. Looks like crap now. Uh, Spring Hill, Florida. It looks worse than Lehigh, bro. It looks so old and raggedy compared to the last time we were here, bro. Look at this, bro. It looks so old and raggedy since the last time we were here. Wow, man, this place has got run down in a heartbeat. This place is like really gone to crap. We're not off of US 19 anymore. We're off into the city now. There has never been the greatest thing in the world, but it wasn't this bad from what I remember. And there hasn't been a hurricane come through here. This is what? Where everybody from New York was moving to because it was getting better, it was gonna improve. Improve? Now, this crap got worse, bro. It never, like, it got worse. So they, even that car's got license plates from New York right there. Like, a lot of New Yorkers moved here and they thought it was gonna get cleaned up and get better. And I'm looking at this place now, my like, bro. This place doesn't look better to me. <laughs> 